Okay guys, so what I'm gonna take you through today is just some of the points about shoulder training. Uh, a lot of you guys, you want, you want big delts, you want big traps, and I'm gonna just explain to you how I built mine and uh, some of the methods that I use for building my shoulders. So whenever I start shoulders, I start with a press. Uh, I perform at least two presses before moving on to hitting the uh, delts from different angles. So the first thing I will start with is either a military press or a dumbbell press, but I'm gonna show you a military press. So I'll do military presses or for example, like I said, dumbbell press or even machine press, but I always start with a press. The idea behind it is I want to conserve my energy for the big lifts, you know, so I will start off with something like this as opposed to starting off with delts because once I've worked my delts, I won't be able to get as much strength in a big press like this. So after doing a military or dumbbell press, I will then do another sort of press. That could be an Arnold press or it could be a military press from behind the neck. A lot of people don't do that, but I personally do it because I feel like it hits the uh, shoulders from a different angle and it really does work them in a, in a good way. There's a safe way to do it. And that is to start very light, start with the bar, get your technique right and slowly work your way up. It does put your neck in a precarious position because you're behind it like that. But as I said, it's just uh, one of those exercises where you take it slow. So, providing you keep the weight light, you should be fine. You know, just take your time with it. It's not one of those exercises where you throw a little weight on and try and do it. Just take your time, get the technique, and just work on your form on that exercise. So after all the presses, I then move on to working on my delts. And for that, we're gonna start with dumbbells. Okay, so after my presses, I then need to work on my delts. Now the delts have three parts to them. The anterior, the mid deltoid and the posterior. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna hit all those areas. So what I normally start with, I normally start with side laterals to hit the uh, side of the deltoids. start light and work my way up. So um, here we only have 10 kg, but sometimes I work up to maybe even 30 kg, you know. So uh, always start light, get the rhythm as you build up. After hitting side laterals, we need to hit the anterior. So for anterior, we're gonna do front raises. So, grab the dumbbells like so. And with this, you can either do them at the same time or you can do them unilaterally. So that's one at a time. What I tend to do is I'll start doing it at the same time while it's light. And then when I get to heavier dumbbells, I do it unilaterally.
Okay, so we've now done our side laterals and our front raises to hit our anterior delts. Now we need to hit the posterior delts and we need to hit the traps. Let's move on. Okay, with there being three heads to the delts, as you know, we've hit the anterior, we've hit the mid, now we need to hit the posterior. So there's several exercises you can use to hit the posterior delts. You can do face pulls, you can use dumbbells and hit a reverse fly, but today we're gonna to use the pec deck and use the reverse grip. Okay, so we've uh, done our presses, we've done our side laterals, we've done our front raises for our anterior, and we've even hit our posterior delts. Now, traps, shrugs. Okay, so we're now at the final exercise. I always finish my shoulder sessions with shrugs, heavy shrugs. Um, I normally start on about five plates and finish up on six to seven, <laughs> you know? Um, for me, shrugs has been the staple exercise for building traps. Um, so, let's get started. And we are done, that is shoulders. What you'll note is that I hit the shoulders from every angle and a uh, lot of volume actually, quite a bit of volume. So um, always make sure that you get your presses in and you hit your delts from as many angles as possible and make sure you've got an exercise to hit your traps. That can either be shrugs or it can be an upright roll. You know, there's several ways to hit your, your traps and it doesn't have to be shrugs with a barbell, it can be with a dumbbell also. Peace guys.